What's up guys, Trail here, better known as Budget Bill, and welcome to the channel. Today we have another update on the SNAP food stamp benefits for the month of December. We have a few more states being approved for the emergency allotments. We also have a total of 34 states that have already been approved for the December allotments right now. So we're going to go over them in this video. So be sure to watch the video until the end. A lot of you have been asking me about whether your state has been approved and when to expect the monthly payout. So I wanted to provide an update that includes everything as of today, December the 8th. In addition, we are also going to be going over exactly what the Pandemic EBT program is and discussing the new Pandemic EBT 2.0. A lot of you have been asking about that as well. But before we get started, if this is your first time to the channel, hey, welcome and glad to have you. On this channel, we talk about finance, credit cards, real estate, and stimulus update news. Also, if you like this type of content, be sure to like this video. It definitely means a lot as it takes a lot of time to research this information and to provide a scaled down version to share with you guys. Also, if you want to become a part of this community, we would love to have you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Now, since the last video, we have had a few more states become approved for the emergency allotments for December, and we also have their payout dates as well. Don't forget that states are being approved on a daily basis. So if you don't see or hear your state today in this video, keep checking back for new updates. And feel free to send me a message in the comment section. I typically respond to each and every comment. Now, here are the states that have been approved so far with their tentative payout dates for the month of December. Alabama is going to be on December the 31st, Arizona December the 1st through the 2nd, in DC December the 19th and January the 2nd, in Florida December the 4th, Georgia December the 16th, the 18th, the 20th and the 22nd, Hawaii is going to be on January the 11th, Idaho is going to be on January the 11th through the 15th, Indiana December is going to be on the odd days from the 5th through the 23rd, Iowa normal issuance is January the 1st through the 10th, Kansas, January the 15th through the January the 24th, Kentucky, December the 2nd through the 19th, Maine, December the 10th, Mississippi, December the 2nd, Missouri, December the 1st through the 22nd, Montana, December the 2nd through the December the 6th, New Hampshire, December the 5th, the 8th, the 15th, the 22nd, the 29th, and January the 5th, 12th, 19th, and 26th, New Jersey, December the 1st through the 5th, New Mexico, no specific date, but December the 1st through the 31st, Nevada, December the 5th, North Carolina for 10 days, December the 22nd through the 31st, Ohio, December the 17th, Oregon is going to have three runs, December the 10th, December the 30th for new cases, and January the 4th for cases after December the 31st, Pennsylvania, December the 2nd through the 11th, Rhode Island, December the 3rd, South Carolina, regular dates, December the 1st through the 19th, Tennessee, December the 1st through the 20th, Utah, December the 30th, Vermont, January the 15th, Virginia, December the 16th, Washington is going to be on the 1st and the 2nd with staggering dates December the 2nd through the 20th. West Virginia is going to be on December the 3rd. Wisconsin, December the 19th. Wyoming is going to be on the payout dates by last names. A through D is going to be on December the 2nd. E through K is going to be on December the 3rd. L through R on December the 4th. And S through Z on December the 5th. Now, the only state that will probably not extend the benefits is Nebraska. They haven't extended anything since July of this year, so we don't expect them to do anything in the future. So, those are the 34 states that have been approved for December allotments so far. And hey guys, go ahead and click the like button right now if you haven't already. And be sure to share this video on your Facebook page, your Twitter page, your Instagram page, or whatever social media pages you have. Share it right now. I would appreciate it. Now, if you have any questions about this list of states or payout dates, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments section. This information updates all the time and more states are being added almost daily. Now, real quick, I want to explain what the PEBT or Pandemic EBT program is as we continue to have a lot of people asking about it and or how to apply for it as well. I will also try to put it on the screen right here. 
The PEBT Act allowed states to submit requests to provide meal replacement benefits through SNAP, known as PEBT, for households with children who attended a school that was closed in the spring of 2020 for at least five days and who otherwise would have received free or reduced price meals. Though many states needed time to overcome implementation challenges, all states selected the option and issued these benefits by midsummer. These programs so far have replaced meals lost during the 2019 through 2020 school year, and benefits have been issued retroactively for periods when schools were closed during that time. Families first allowed states to provide these benefits through fiscal year of 2020, which ended September the 30th. And since then, they have been trying to bring this program back as some places are beginning to shut down again because of the surge in virus cases. Which brings us to the Pandemic EBT 2.0 program. Now from the website it reads, recently states have been granted authority pending federal approval to provide eligible children PEBT food benefits for the entire 2020-2021 school year. To provide PEBT benefits for this school year, states must develop and submit a new PEBT plan for federal approval. The CDSS and CDE are awaiting federal guidance and will be working collaboratively to develop and submit an approval plan as soon as possible. More information will be shared here as soon as it's available. Now, so far I haven't heard any news regarding the 2.0 program, but I do know that if you were approved the first time during the August and September months, you would receive these benefits for the 2020 through 2021 school year as well. Each state has to develop its own plan of how the program will work and then submit it for approval. Then once those are approved, then each individual state will be able to offer the PEBT 2.0 benefits throughout the school year. I checked the website before shooting this video and no updates have been made so far. This information is still developing so I will keep you guys updated on any information I receive regarding the Pandemic EBT 2.0 program. And last but not least, if you received any type of government assistance and or received benefits on an EBT card, I want everyone to know that you can get the Amazon Prime membership at a reduced price. Typically, it costs about $12.99 per month. So if you already are subscribed to Amazon Prime, you want to change your account to get the discount and get it for half the cost at just $5.99 per month. So if you are paying the normal amount, please be sure to update your account so that you can receive the lower pricing. That way you guys can save money on something that you're already subscribed to. And then for those of you who do not have the Amazon Prime membership and you would like to try it out for free, they are offering you 30 days to get the experience. This comes in handy during the holiday season for Black Friday and Christmas shopping. If you are interested, I will include links to both of these in the description down below. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you found any of this information in this video today valuable, such as the December allotments and payout dates or the Pandemic EBT 2.0 program or the free Amazon Prime membership, be sure to share this video with someone you know and share it on your social media pages. Also, be sure to hit the like button for me as it really helps out the channel and it tells YouTube to share this video with others. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Other than that, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video.